Let us direct a flashlight onto a CD and see what bright colors of the rainbow we obtain as a result. But how does white light decompose into a spectrum in this case? After all, there is no refraction like in a prism. Where do rainbow colors come from? from. All further explanation is based on the fact that light is a wave. And light waves, in a sense, behave in the same way as sound waves or water waves. Now let's talk about how a CD works. Its surface is marked with parallel tracks, the distance between which is only 1.5 microns. In optics, such a device with parallel strokes is called a diffraction grating, and the step between the strokes is the grating period. Let the light with a certain wavelength fall onto the surface of the disk at a right angle, just like a wave rolls onto the shore. Each track of the disk is a re-radiator, and the waves radiate back from it in all directions. But there are many tracks on the disk, and they all emit waves simultaneously. When the waves are scattered back, their crests and troughs coincide, reinforcing each other. A bright spot appears on the screen in this direction, as by normal reflection. However, the crests can also coincide when the waves scatter at an angle to the disk. Here, the path difference between them is one wavelength, and in this direction, bright spots will be visible too. Let us install the CD onto an optical bench. We'll put a green laser in front of it. Several bright spots are visible on the screen. The central spot corresponds to a normal mirror image. The two side spots to the right and left of it have a path difference of one wavelength. In our experiment, the distance from the disk to the screen is 60 centimeters. The distance from the central spot to the first side spot is 23 centimeters. Let's reproduce the conditions of our experiment in a drawing. The legs of this right triangle are known to us. Its hypotenuse, according to the Pythagorean theorem, is 64 centimeters. Let's draw the second right triangle, where the hypotenuse is the grid spacing and one of the legs is the wavelength. This triangle is similar to the first one, so we can make a proportion. The grid spacing of 1.5 microns relates to the unknown wavelength as the hypotenuse of 64 cm relates to the 23 cm leg. This means that the wavelength is about 2.8 times less than the grid spacing, and it equals 0.55 microns. But it is more convenient to measure such distances in nanometers. We have experimentally established that the wavelength of the green laser is approximately 550 nanometers. If we change the green laser to a red one, the light spots on the screen will change their position, because the wavelength of red light is longer than that of green light. And if you use a white flashlight instead of a single color laser, such a source is called a monochromatic one. Then the light with different wavelengths will be scattered on the diffraction grid at different angles. And the longer the wavelength, the more deflected the light is. Red light has a wavelength of about 670 nanometers, green one about 530, blue one about 470.